Now, uh, we have been talking about scope and objectives and assumptions, and you will notice that we have talked about scope and objectives and assumptions before. Um, this is not the initiation phase. Um, at this point in project management, we are further down the cycle. And you remember the, the PDCA cycle, uh, deeming cycle, plan, do, check, act. And this is at the check phase. We are uh, almost to the point of testing. This is, this is in a sense... Um, an initial level of testing that we are reviewing, you know, what we have done. Is it more or less complete? Is it um, addressing all of the things? Have we found out anything as we've been developing the plan that challenges our assumptions, that modifies our objectives, and therefore the scope of the project. And believe me, the first time you do this, it will. Uh, you, you know, working through it, you suddenly realize, wait a minute, we didn't do this, we didn't do that, we can't rely on this. Um, so you, uh, you know, we're we're not quite into uh, a you know detailed testing phase yet, but we. We are at that check phase um, before we act in terms of, you know, developing and committing everything to uh, paper, uh, to our actual plan, to our actual procedures, which is what we want to do. We want to have, you know, um, all, all of this has been leading towards having our procedures and and the procedures that are going to get us through a disaster. So, we look at what we've done, we examine it, we uh, you know, consider it with the, the new information in, in light of what we have worked on. And are we still confident that everything has been addressed. And it's also at this point that you're you're looking at the various procedures. And I mean you want to put down the procedures. You you want to make sure um, this is procedural, this is you are wanting to give somebody sort of a paint by numbers um, a you know, just follow the steps. This is the recipe for getting through the trouble here. And, you know, you you want to have that down on a, a very detailed, procedural, step-by-step -step basis so that people don't have to make decisions because they're going to be under stress. You do not want people making decisions under stress. You want to provide them as much guidance as possible and as much as possible just, I mean they are going to be under stress they are going to be making mistakes even about the procedures so just you know take all the burden that you can off them the the more work you put into it at this point the more burden you can take off them then the the fewer errors they will make, the better the result will be for the company in surviving uh, you know, any kind of disaster, interruption, whatever it may be. So, all of this has to be addressed. And as I say, you know, you're, you're uh, creating all kinds of procedures to address all kinds of situations and it's at this point that you are taking the various 
different aspects of, you know, what bad things can happen and turning it into a full and complete business continuity plan. Up to this point, it's just been, uh, you know, a, a bunch of stuff, a bunch of ideas. What can go wrong? What can we do about it? Here, we put it into a plan. And this is where one of my NASA stories comes in. Teaching there. Uh, one of the guys in the front row. Uh, uh, it gets the deer in the headlights look as, as we're coming to exactly this point. And he's, you know, I look at him, I say problem, and he says, we don't have a business continuity plan. And of course, you know, as I say, you know, we figured that NASA, you know, who has had more disasters than NASA? They're, you know, expert at this kind of stuff. So, you know, what? He said, we have the world's best hurricane plan, but we do not have a business continuity plan. Of course, what he meant was, yes, they have individual plans, but they had never combined them. And uh, first break after that point, uh, everybody was off in, in corners having little meetings, and I could just see that uh, there were gonna be a ton of meetings at uh, NASA over the coming weeks dealing with this issue of not having a complete business continuity plan and uh, you know hopefully now they do 